All right, YouTube. So I'm planting a, plant, a pomegranate tree in this hole. Um, I made it barely big enough, just to uh, barely bigger than this uh, uh ten no five gallon container. So um, I had a hard time thinking out the pomegranate tree from in here. So I'm gonna show you what the pomegranate tree looks like right now. All right, YouTube, so in this container, I have a uh, compost extract. Uh, I'm going to make a compost tea just because uh, compost extract uh, helps better with biology. Uh, so basically, whatever's in your compost, uh, whatever biology is in there, it'll, be, it'll go into the hole that you made. As you can see in here, um, the hole was pretty dry. Uh, the dirt was really dry, except for the top. So that means it, it's not penetrating deep enough. So... What I'm hoping is that when I loosened it, hopefully uh, it'll penetrate easier uh, when I water. But I'm going to put a compost extract so all the biology from my extract or from my compost will go into here. And hopefully the tree will survive and thrive in here. I'm apparently supposed to plant pomegranates early in spring when you're in colder weather. Or like in zone 8 and lower, but hopefully it's not too late. Uh, we'll see what happens. And yeah, I'm just gonna put this in. Um, I've seen videos where people put vitamin B1 instead of compost extract. Um, I don't have vitamin B1 and I don't want to buy it. I also see people use fish motion with vitamin B1. I could have put fish motion, I have that, but um, I think I just want to try just the compost extract first and see if that works. And if it does, I'll probably do that in the future with all of my trees that I plant. But yeah, I'm going to bring the tree and uh, plant it in. All right, YouTube. So I don't know how well you can see from over there. But uh, a lot of the soy got knocked off. Um, I can tell that it's, I let it dry out too much. So I have to do a real deep watering on this anyway. So I'll probably do like a one hour watering with a sprinkler. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to backfill this a little bit higher than uh, um, of grade. Just so it's not too compacted. Or not too deep, should I say? I try to break up these clods. I'm trying to make it so. Well, I'll give you guys a closer look once after I'm done. All right, so I could probably have done a better job of doing that, but um, it is what it is. I did my best. Uh, it's just me out here, so it's kind of hard to do things. Um, let me bring it closer. So if you saw this plant, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's either a black locust or a honey locust. Uh, I'm not sure which one, so hopefully we'll find out sooner rather than later, but hopefully uh, that will survive my winter also. Uh, we'll see. 
but yeah that's the planting of this pomegranate tree so today i gave it a compost extract um thursday i'll give it a compost tea maybe uh i don't think it needs it but we'll see probably does since my soil is just so dry and it used to be uh it's low biology um i really should make like a basin or something so we can harvest water around it uh we'll see what i do next all right youtube so i try to make it a little bit better of a base to catch the water uh when i start watering um we'll see how well it does but yeah that's how the tree looks like so far and uh i'll be back for future updates all right youtube so it's been two days later since i planted this tree um so far it looks so good so i'm not worried about the transplant but i did make a compost tea yesterday uh, I finished today. I'm going to water that in, then I'm going to mulch it, and then uh, do something else, which I'm going to show you in a bit. All right, YouTube, so I just finished mulching the tree now. After I fertilized it with uh, the compost seed I made yesterday, uh, like I said, I finished it earlier today. And uh, something I haven't seen too much people do is put a cover crop around the trees. So on this little berm, I'm going to have a cover crop because I want as much root as possible around this tree so it can break up um, some of the compacted layers uh, as, a, as the cover crop grows and uh, I want it so it can bring more biology to the soil because uh, if you've seen my soil it's extremely dead there's barely any life in it um, as soon as you bring water to it more life will come to it but um, it'll come even faster if you use fertilizer or if you use Obviously, organic fertilizer and uh, use some cover crop. Cover crop is the quickest way to bring biology to your soil, but you can do just a compost tea and that'll be fine. But you know, why not help it a little bit more with cover crop? So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna cover the rest of the cover crop with some of this extra soil. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Peace.